Shortly after I became a believer and follower of Yeshua, someone gave me a little piece of paper that I'm going to read you today. It is a piece written by John Collinson, who was an English vicar and missionary to Africa. Apparently, he he spoke these words at an international revival conference in 1970. When we say that we follow Yeshua, we want to learn to walk as he walked. There are things that appeal to us, maybe performing miracles or having words of knowledge, healing people. But there are other aspects of this walk that sometimes we forget about. Maybe we just can't relate to them. And this is one of those things. The name of this piece is called Brokenness. I pray that it strengthens you and shores you up for the times that we are living in. When to do the will of God means that even my Christian brethren will not understand, and I remember that neither did his brethren believe in him, as is written in John 7, 5, and I bow my head to obey and accept the misunderstanding, this is brokenness. When I am misrepresented or deliberately misinterpreted, and I remember that Yeshua was falsely accused, but he held his peace, and I bow my head to accept the accusation without trying to justify myself. This is brokenness. When another is preferred before me, and I am deliberately passed over, and I remember that they cried, Away with this man, release unto us Barabbas, from Luke twenty three eighteen, and I bow my head and accept rejection. This is brokenness. When my plans are brushed aside and I see the work of years brought to ruins by the ambitions of others and I remember that Yeshua allowed them to lead him away to crucify him in Matthew twenty-seven thirty-one, and he accepted the place of failure and I bow my head and accept the injustice without bitterness, this is brokenness. When, in order to be right with my God, it is necessary to take the humbling path of confession and restitution. And I remember that Yeshua made himself of no reputation and humbled himself unto death, even death of the cross, from Philippians 2.8. And I bow my head and am ready to accept the shame of exposure. This is brokenness. When others take unfair advantage of my being a believer and strip my belongings as public property, and I remember... They stripped him and parted his garments, casting lots, in Matthew 27, verses 28 and 35. And I bow my head and accept joyfully the spoiling of my goods for his sake. This is brokenness. When one acts towards me in an unforgivable way, and I remember that when he was crucified, Yeshua prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do, in Luke 23:34. And I bow my head and accept any behavior towards me as permitted by my loving Father. This is brokenness. When people expect the impossible of me and more than time or human strength can give, and I remember that Yeshua said, This is my body which is given for you, in Luke twenty-two nineteen, and I repent of my self-indulgence and lack of self-giving for others, this is brokenness. Of God, your mercy I have seen. Lamb of God, your blood has washed me.